Um, when I was thinking about this church, I was also, um, it kind of reminded me of my, my grandmother. She was from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We used to call her the chocolate dipped Indian because she had straight black hair, she had African features. And she was, um, she was sold when she was 12 years old to a very old man. And she had also, she had 22 children and four sets of twins. The other Jack's women. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so uh, she was married twice to the man that she was sold to for, um, she would tell me it was for two frying pans and a cow. She always, um, she missed her, where she came from. And she had to deal with also now Christianity too. And so in the, on her property, she had this, um, it was a burial ground basically. And she lined the burial ground with these metal um, uh, mattresses. And they were all weaved with dream catchers. If it was a piece of cloth, if it was, if it was maybe even a chicken bone, the, you know, their favorite part of the chicken bone, anything that would remind them of them. But my grandmother, she, I did not want to be an artist at all. You know, I saw the long road ahead of me. And she says, Tahoe? She's like, one thing I know is, is that you can't stand people who are as deep as a spoon. You need a deep well to, to, to reach from. But she also, um, she had her own sense of church out in the um, woods. And so I, I remember having my like hot wheel, you know, tricycle, <laughs> and riding around the property and everything. And um, I remember her singing this song. So I wanna thank you guys for all coming here, all right? And spread the word. Yeah, I'm gonna wear my golden slippers. Yes, I'm gonna be redeemed. Yes, I'm going to love again. Whoa.